Oh boy. Well, we were headed to go watch the middle school and JV football game. We were in Montgomery at over an hour away. We get a phone call from the athletic trainer at the high school saying Colin has hurt and probably broken his wrist. Lois and our over an hour away. Thankfully, Micah was there at practice, so Micah has taken Colin to Urgent Care. They just did the x-ray. We just got back into town at the Urgent Care. Let's go see what's up. Oh, of course. Oh, there's the boy. <laughs> I should have known him. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, he's 100. What's it? 129 back and. I was panicking a little bit, but we were already in Pike Road, and so I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> I mean, we're over an hour away. He was like, well, you want me to take him? And I'm like, well, yeah. And the great news is we were switching insurance. We don't have new insurance information. Like, That's what October was holding 1st. Micah up. Oh no! Like, yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. Thankfully, we got Big Bro here to save the day. So finally, Coach Burns was like, like, I don't know if he was on, but he was like, they want me to take him. And they must have said, you can't take him. There's a No, they were going to take him. I said, well, Mike, you can take me. Oh, you yeah, said that? Thankfully. Okay. <laughs> no, so you didn't have to play? Yeah. Are you going to? I, I don't know. Coach hadn't even told me yet. Okay. See if we can get these pads off. No, no. You got to get those side first. Yeah. Making all this noise back here. Yeah, I'm trying to make a hand. Alright, pull this arm. You really need to take the jersey off first. Well, that's what she's trying to do. That's what I'm doing. See, we didn't have to cut. I can't hang my jersey. Woo! <laughs> that smells wonderful. You want some Gary? I've got one in the corner that I had taken for Gavin. Well, those pads are kind of keeping me warm and cold. Yeah, but when he goes to ortho, they're going to do their own x rays anyway. Well, if I'm not moving it, it's probably just like a two, but if I like move it or something, like I feel it, it's probably like maybe a five. So when it happened, what you said it was a 10? No, it was like an 8 or 9 when it first happened. Yesterday? And I went up for a ball and I had a defender on me. And like, I don't know exactly what happened in the air, but when I came back down, I just landed on my wrist. You landed on the wrist? Yeah. Um, did you hear a snap, pop, or anything like that? Mm -mm. Pretty bad pain that you're having today? Or how mm -hmm. are you feeling? I mean... If I'm not moving it or anything, I mean, it doesn't really hurt. Mm -hmm. But like, if I like move it in the wrong spot or something, it's like a jolt of pain. Did you go to an urgent care and emergency room yesterday? Uh, we went to urgent care. Urgent care, okay. Mainstream. Did they splint you or just give you the ACE wrap? They just gave me the wrap. Okay. Did and they, they gave him uh, something for pain. They did, okay. After the x-ray. Okay, good. Have you been taking that? Well, they just gave me a shot, and then they told me to wait six hours before I take any ibuprofen or anything, so this morning I took two. Okay. He was in a lot of pain yesterday, but so far today, I think it's he's been, been, okay. He's been okay. Any numbness or tingling going into your hands or anything like that? I guess so, in my fingers, but not much. Can you move your wrist? Is that kind of giving you any pain? Pain in here? Mm -hmm. How about on the side? Okay, I'm going to show you your x-rays today. Here's your thumb and here's your pinky. So on the thumb bone, like lining up with your thumb, you actually broke it right there. Yeah. Does it go, it doesn't go all the way across though? Is it just kind of like a fracture? It's a buckle fracture. So that means like the force when he like, whatever he hit or how he hit, it buckled on itself and it fractured on top of the bone. So the gotcha. radius hit radius and... The bone kind of buckles. So actually from a side view, you can see it even better here, how it kind of like bubbled out and buckled down. I'm thinking it's gonna heal like in two months. Um, so what that means for you is with this wrist, um, and with this hand, you really don't want to use it because the now your body's gonna start developing new bone called callus and then it calcifies and that's like basically as strong as your normal bone is. Um, but with that, you don't want to put any weight on that arm and you also want to wear, we're going to get you into a fracture brace today. So instead of a cast, we do offer the braces here. 
the benefit of having a brace is you can take it on and off shower. Um, it's as sturdy as a cast. Um, it's just you have a little bit more flexibility with it. Yeah. Casts just get like really stinky and gross over time <laughs> and they're not fun to wear, so. He also kicks for football and still be able to he kick? He kick, yeah, as long as nobody runs into him. <laughs> <laughs> that would yeah, be the thing that, during a game or something. Maybe? Yeah, that would be the only thing. I'm I'm left-handed when I write, so for school, oh, I'll, yeah. so this I, brace, so this brace keeps your fingers free, so you should be able to still write. Okay, you but can, you said like no pressure or anything. You, I want to put weight on the forearm, so like so carrying like, books and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I would at least give it a month because you don't, the bone is still so loose and loosened right now. Yeah, yeah but the gripping and movement, that, okay. that should on be okay? Hand, okay. Yeah, on the hand will be fine. Okay. Little movements with your hand, um, but just not too much with the forearm. Left, medium. So this is the brace. Mm -hmm. So it's just as sturdy as a cast. Yeah. To loosen it, you pop it up pull these out and it's almost like fishing wire to take it off. That reminds me of my ski boots, my snow, yeah. snow oh, yeah. uh, boots. And then you snap it down and you twist it. Yeah, that's exactly like that. Nice. So I'll fit it to you and then you, when you take it off and stuff, that's how you take it off. So you'll pop loosen it, it for up, yourself it and then pop it down and tighten it up. Oh, that's convenient. It's a lot easier than I can. Oh, does that warm it up so it molds? Is that yep. what that does? Yeah, so it's gonna, it's basically like an air fryer. Kind of like a mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. You gotta warm it up too. Yeah, to mold it to, to mold you. It. That's really cool. Yeah. Let me get you in. It's gonna be a little tight, so it does also offer some compression. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna fold this up. And there's a little hole for your thumb right there. But pretty much the brace will stay on 24 7 minus when we're just maybe showering or mm -hmm. yeah and i would do it while sleeping too take it off while sleeping or no i wear it while wear it, sleeping yeah because yeah. yeah. it rolls over yeah exactly there you go so that'd be good for swelling really not too swollen for having a broken bone Are you okay yeah I'm just... yeah look it's kind of drip for your football too <laughs> <laughs> yeah. kind of like the football sleeve you wear i won't be playing any football yeah. Sometimes Dr. Baker has let people, I do, what team do you play for? Benjamin Russell. So he does let, let some people play, or some players play with some Well, he stuff. kicks for the JV and they don't rush, okay. so he won't get hit doing that, but he is a backup for the varsity to his older brother, so as long as his older brother stays healthy, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he stays healthy and doesn't come touch his <laughs> I heard that he's a pretty good kicker for varsity. He's doing pretty good, although he's he's still learning. He's still new to it. Okay. You know, so he's still learning form and technique. Same with Colin. I mean, he kicked for the middle school last year, but it's still learning that technique. And yeah. I'm 100% on my kicks. And <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can't tell there's a little brotherly love I and know. brotherly rivalry going. I know. But you can adjust it to your thumb. So that's a nice little feature. Yeah. It's nice and warm. I know. Some people like it, some people don't. It's like your he clothes have to get them out of the, uh, <laughs> the, dryer. the dryer. Yeah. There we go. Sorry. Yeah. I'm going to put this around your thumb now. And then I'm just going to tighten it. So pressing it down. You feel it getting snug? Yeah. Is there a certain amount of pressure that you need to ratchet it to? You just want to make sure that you can still get a couple fingers on there, but it's like tight on your fingers. So it's like, I'm um, giving you good support. Still have circulation. Now. Yeah. <laughs> so if your fingers turn blue, you just loosen. <laughs> and then I think that's pretty. Yeah. Um, pretty good where it yesterday is. when they first dried my hand, my fingers turned purple because I put it way too tight. Oh, really? All right, so I'll wait for Dr. Baker to get in because he does have to see you since you're a new mm -hmm. fracture. But then you guys will be all set once he sees you. And then, like I said, you can adjust this how you like it. They, they, they Velcro on the top and the bottom. Can you go up and down with the thumb? Yes. Good. You can do A-OK. -okay. Cross your fingers. Good. Spread them out wide for me. You feel this? That feel normal? Yeah. Does this I mean, feel normal? Cold, but... but you can feel me touching you here. Oh, yeah. You can feel the inside. 
you feel the pinky? Mm -hmm. Good, so I just want to make sure all your nerves and muscles are working like they should, so that's good. So you got to see the x-ray, it's got that crack right there yeah. across there, so thankfully it's still lined up straight on both the front and the side views. So that's why we can treat this in this instead of having to do surgery, which is nice. Great. Yeah. This I basically want on 23 and a half hours of the day. The only time to take off really is to bathe. And probably shouldn't be playing football in this. Yeah. He does just do some kicking too. Yeah. Could he possibly kick with it? What, and we were talking, so JV, they don't rush the kicker. Okay. So he's just free to kick. Varsity, um, which his older brother's the one kicking for varsity, but yeah. he's like the backup if if need be. But. Um, risk benefit. That's, yeah. That's, that's where, if you're willing to risk it, I mean, the benefit is you get to play. The risk, you go for a kick and you just slip and fall and go down and then you fall in again. Right. Displace it and then we're coming back here, maybe having to do surgery or maybe having to go to the operating room and reset it. Um, so that's right, those are the risks. Gotcha. And so it's up to you though. You and the family, if you're willing to accept those risks yeah. or not. And if it was just a hand fracture, uh, I think that would be fine, but it's more of your forearm. And so that, what you don't want to heal is your hand to heal backwards like this or to heal forwards. Mm -hmm. So you want to heal straight up and down so you have normal function. Mm -hmm. Are you left-handed or right-handed? Left-handed. Even more important, it's your dominant <laughs> hand. And so we want to... Um, yeah, really make sure it heals Make up. sure it heals up yeah. well. And so good thing you, to do is keep moving those fingers so you can still do your homework. You can still write. So moving his wrist isn't really going to impact moving the Moving the wrist is, yes. Okay, um, but fingers just fingers. Fingers is fine. Because okay. what can happen is, you can, as you can see, like the tendons of your fingers go right above the bone where it's broken right here. Mm -hmm. So if you stay perfectly still, as that bone begins to heal, those tendons can scar to that new bone and you get really, really stiff. And so as long as you keep those fingers moving, the bone will heal and the tendons won't scar next to the bone. Gotcha. That's what we're kind of trying to prevent. Yeah. Okay. Well, that makes sense? Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And we'll check on you once a month until it's healed. Okay. So good. Come back in a month. Yeah, come back in a month. Okay. You, you, here's the paper. Good news is your growth plates are still open, so you're still growing. I don't think she showed you that on yeah, your the growth plate there, and so that's that's still growing. So you're not done yet. That's right. Good. All right. Well, that was pretty good news. Thank you, God, that it's a clean break, clean fracture, that he's still growing, so that will help the healing and gives him room to heal. And we'll be back in a month, so you'll probably see us. Right after this clip, we'll be back checking him out. Hopefully he's all healed up and back playing some JV. So I think this is our month, or is it six weeks? How long has it been since your injury? Mm -hmm. a month. Month update on the old broken arm. Just got the new x-ray done. Now we're waiting to hear results. Wait for the doctor to come in. So how's it felt so far? I mean, I haven't felt pain since like the first week, in the first two weeks. Yeah, and you've been trying to kick the last few games. Just bandaged it up, and you actually kicked JV with it. Yeah. But they don't rush, so it wasn't too big of a deal. <laughs> you hadn't really been able to lift. You said you were doing a little bit of shoulder. Just like with a five time dumbbell, I can do some, some stuff. Feel this? Mm -hmm. Feel this? Yeah. Feel the inside? Yeah. Feel the pinky? Good. <laughs> Check your pulse. You're alive. You got a pulse. That's good. Now, what about if I squeeze on the broken? But you can relax here if you want. If I squeeze here, tender still a little bit. Not too bad. Yeah, not really. Good. Well, you'll see your pictures. Sure. All right. It's gonna pull that. <laughs> here they look good. I took a little preview back there. You can see the radius, the ulna, the carpal bones, the metacarpals of the hand. These are your growth plates. Your break is this little crack that you see right here. So good news, still lined up nice and straight. Hasn't shifted side to side, so that's very, very good. Hasn't sunk under shifted, so good there. If we look at the side view, you can see it's starting to make a little new bone in the front. It's starting to make a, some new bone in the back. It's still nice and straight. You see where that break is through there, so. It's healing like it should. Now, is it healed yet? No, remember we talked about two to three months? to get fully healed. So you can see that it started that process. You see new bone forming, but you can still see where the crack is going through. So it's not fully healed just yet, but still nice and straight. So it's lined up like it should. So keep on keeping on. Sound good? <laughs> yeah. He was hoping so he could. So excited, right? <laughs> he was hoping he could do more. Yeah, that's why I'm sorry. So keep wearing the brace. It is what it is. Yeah, just take some time.
Yeah. You wanted better news than that, I know. I know. I wish I could have given He was asking, could he start working out some with... Lower body's fine. Whatever you want, lower body. Just never. With your right arm. I would not lift. Because the thing is, you see this here. If you were to say lift up, like trying to do curls or something, mm -hmm. it's going to pull backwards and it could cause this, instead of being straight, to fold in half and re-break it. That's what we don't want that to happen. Yeah. So we want to keep it nice and straight. So if you were to try, if you imagine your break is here. So if you're lifting curls, well, that's just immediately going to fold it back and try to break right through that weakness spot of your bone. So you don't want to do that. Same thing if you're trying to bench press and it got stressed one way or the other, then it can easily bend it backwards or forwards. Now I'm just going to get weak for a little while. Yeah. So just lower body. Just lower body and your right arm. So you can get the, <laughs> the dumbbells out, do the one arm bench, the one arm curls. And then um, do your lower body, so. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> All good. We're just thankful it's healing right. It's healing like it should. You haven't shifted it out of alignment, so it looks good. Very happy with it. So um, keep doing so what you're doing. Come back in a month. Come back in another month, yep. yep. Okay. Now I know you're disappointed, but again, the good news is it's healing. It's healing correctly. You just have to let it rest a little bit more before you start doing stuff to potentially injure it more. He was really wanting to get back to working out. Here's the positive. At least it's not hurting. At least there's no surgery. At least it's not a big cast. It's just that brace. So that's good. All right, guys. So that's the update. We will be back in a month. And hopefully then he will be completely cleared and get back to working out and other activities. We're back to the orthopedic to see results. It has been 66 days, I believe, today. So we're gonna do a follow-up. He's going the x-ray right now. So we'll get the x-rays, we'll see where we are. The last time we were here was a month ago. It was healing up nicely. So hopefully this time it's completely healed. I know Colin's ready to get that cast off, get back to some working out. Football season's over, so now he's just started working out with baseball. But obviously it's limited. He can't really, can't wear a glove. That's arm with the glove. So hopefully he can put a glove on and start working. Not to mention we have a ski trip coming up. So it'd be nice if he doesn't have to have a brace on for that. Let's wait and see what the doctor says. Today can barely see it. Hey! So as long as you're pain free, is there any pain in here? No. And you can move your wrists back and forth, and then in and out. All right. Well, I think it'll be graduation day, man. Right. All right. Yes. So that's awesome. It's exciting news. Yes. Yeah. So I will go get Dr. Baker. He'll make the final call. Okay. All right. What does that mean for like weightlifting? You can Probably go back like, to it. I would start slow yeah. and low and then see how it feels. Okay. <laughs> so that was last month. And you can still see it. What a difference the month made. Mm -hmm. I'm jealous. You got youth on your side because if you look at your fractures in just two months' time, you did what typically takes three months to do. Going back to your original fracture, you can see clear break here, the buckle in the back, and it goes all the way through. And in just two months, completely gone. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Good to be young. Yeah. I would still be in a cast if it was me. Wow. You probably would. I would too, man. Right like, I, have too. A, I have a back that two years and it's still not healed still up. Still not healed up. Yeah. Go back, have fun. Just don't break anything else, okay? That's right. right. For All real. Right. No more broken bones, but today's graduation day. Ah, oh, no, we're so excited. So Merry Christmas. Yes. Yeah, Happy a good, New Year. Great Christmas present. Yes. Just in time for snowboarding. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, oh, shoot, don't say that. I want to go too, so if I, only if I get to go. Where are you going? Y'all going somewhere? Are we going to Colorado? Keystone. Keystone? I've never been there. Keystone. Mm -hmm. Colorado. Okay. Well, are we healed? Yeah. Yeah. We released? Yeah, graduation day is what he said. Yeah. <laughs> so it's graduation day. He's done. Nice. He's like, I'm jealous. You heal quick. Did you say, yeah, my, so did my leg? Yeah. <laughs> no, we didn't really Shock anything. the doctors on that one. He said a normal break like this would take like three months and mine would take two. Yeah, he said, I'd still be in a cast. He looked at me and goes, you would too. And I said, well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a slow eater right now. <laughs> Subscribe, my man, Murph Squad. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Shout awesome out to the boys. Welcome to my life. Welcome to my life.